Well, it was unexpected, I've got to say, that, that as um, somebody who's um, been at CODA for almost 20 odd years, um, you know, my interest is very much around trying to, to bring about the social change to make sure that people age well. Um, you don't do these things for, for recognition, you do it because you've got a passion towards it. Um, but I'm absolutely honoured uh, to be made a life member of, of, of QCOS. Um, I hold the organisation in high regard and the fact that they've recognised my contribution uh, means a lot. Well, I guess I became aware of QCOS when I came into the sector. Um, I'd worked in uh, professional organisations, research organisations, media organisations, uh, but I wasn't really aware of, of QCOS and, until I came to COTA. Uh, but I was really impressed with the uh, attitude, the uh, commitment of the of QCOS's members, so, so the sector in general, but also the, the staff and, and the board uh, at, at the time. Um, so I, I think that uh, the work of QCOS uh, where they're really trying to bring about social change, but, but together with the sector is really important. I, I think QCOS now um, engages better uh, across the sector than it, than it did uh, a decade or so ago. It, it, it's changed a lot. Um, when I first went to QCOS, uh, they were in this tiny little building at, at Kelvin Grove. Uh, and obviously the organisation's much better funded now, much larger staff. Um, but the thing that I think continues is very much that commitment and passion of the people who are involved in the organisation. Um, it may be because it's the most recent, but I, but I do think that in fact the uh, the human rights legislation that went to Parliament last week and, and got passed yeah. um, is really a significant uh, event and we were really pleased, to, along with QCOS, to, to be involved in, in pushing that, uh, recognising certainly the, the leadership of Amy McPhee, who actually has, has guided this um, uh, through all the barriers over the last four or five years, but uh, I, I think for the sector, uh, but also for Queensland, uh, a Human Rights uh, Act that, that really gives uh, rights to, to every Queenslander is a significant change. I think two things. Uh, one is we've got to close the gap. Uh, life expectancy between Indigenous and non-Indigenous people is still uh, unacceptable. Um, so we need to, to work uh, and we're in the peaks uh, uh, doing some work with QCOS around Family Matters, uh, but, but uh, again, appropriately being led by Quatsip um, is, is really important work. But I think the, the issue that I'm seeing increasingly is around cost of living, um, that uh, as we are ageing, uh, but uh, so, so at one end of the, of the spectrum, we've got uh, older people who are living longer and really facing massive uh, challenges in, in just having a decent quality of life. And at the other end of the of life course, we've got younger people who are really struggling to actually get a foothold. I think it's been a, an evolution and I think that QCOS now provides some real leadership amongst the causes across Australia. Um, I think it's certainly one of the um, probably more sustainable of the causes, so it's got uh, good reserves um, and, and that's one of the issues that I think all of us have within the sector is how do we not only do the work that we're passionate about but how do we also make sure that the organisation is sustainable. So I was pleased to, to leave the organisation in good shape.